F1 versus F1B Labradoodles. Fun to say and an even more fun time to be around, Labradoodles have become ever so popular because of their family-friendly nature and lovable disposition. If you've ever found yourself perusing the Labradoodle breeder sites, looking for your own furry buddy, however, you may have noticed some strange nomenclature, like F1 and F1B floating around. This is what denotes the kind of Labradoodle you're getting, and this could affect a variety of things like coat color, size, and even to an extent, disposition. Which is why today we're taking two very popular breeds, the F1 and the F1B, and comparing them, so that you, as a potential pet owner, can make the smartest pick for you. Let's get right into it then, shall we? What is an F1 Labradoodle? Let's get all the sciencey stuff out of the way first, so we can get to talking about adorable doodles. The F in F1 stands for filial, and the 1 stands for the generation number, and so in this case, an F1 Labradoodle is the result of the first cross between a Labrador and a standard Poodle. This creates a cross between the two, which is what we call the Labradoodle. The first cross has what we call hybrid vigor, which means that it will be healthier than either of its purebred parents, and avoid the genetic issues that those two can contain. What is an F1B Labradoodle? An F1B Labradoodle is slightly different than an F1, but the difference isn't super striking. So, while an F1 Labradoodle is split down the middle with 50% Lab and 50% Poodle, the F1B is about 25% Lab to 75% Poodle. Now, you may be asking yourself why, and you may be asking yourself how, and we'll get to that in a second, but essentially the B in F1B stands for back cross. Now, what is a back cross? Well, that's just what happens when you take a hybrid and cross it again with one of the parents, almost always the poodle. This back cross changes the ratio between poodle and lab, in this case, and shifts it in favor of the poodle. Since the poodle has all of the juicy hypoallergenic and non-shedding qualities that people covet with doodles. That was a whole lot of info, and so let's quickly recap. The F1 is a result of two purebreds crossing to create a hybrid. And the F1B is the result of the F1 crossing once again with one of the purebred parents. Appearances When comparing the F1 and F1B, one of the first things that becomes apparent is how much the coat can change. The most interesting difference between the two from an appearance perspective is that the F1B looks far more poodle-like when comparing both, which makes sense as it has a lot more poodle in it than the F1, which can have straight or wavy fur and retains a lot of golden retriever in it. The F1B will require more grooming since poodles don't shed, but the counter to that is that you won't have to deal with vacuuming or sweeping up hair like you may have to with the F1. Grooming Like we just touched on, the grooming situation is a double-edged sword here with both options, and ultimately comes down to preference if allergies aren't a factor. The F1 will not require as much grooming, as it will be shedding more, and the F1B doesn't have to deal with tufts of fur coming loose, but will require a lot more brushing as well as more frequent trips to the groomer. This one really comes down to if you would rather buy a nice vacuum or pay for a kind groomer but there are a lot worse decisions to be made out there. Energy Levels While the energy levels of your Labradoodle shouldn't be massively affected by generation, it is true that labs have more energy than poodles, and some have found that the more poodle their doodle is, the more docile they are, and vice versa. Take this one with a grain of salt if you wish, but if none of the previous comparisons swung you, and this one does, go for it. The temperament also may change a bit, but again, this one is hard to predict in this way. An F1 Labradoodle could be a bit more outgoing towards people and a bit less territorial than the F1B, but there could be cases that go either way here. While there are pros and cons in a traditional sense here, mainly that an F1B will have less shedding issues, but maybe a little less playful, while the F1 will be a hair factory, but also maybe more puppy-like, at the end of the day, this is more of a judgment call, if you don't have allergy issues. Think this one over, come back to it a few times, and just go with your gut on this one, as both the F1 and F1B Labradoodles are perfect pets that will have you happy with your choice, whichever it is. And that's all for our video today. 
I hoped we were able to teach you a bit more about Labradoodles. I really hoped you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one posted all the time. That's all the time we have for today. See you guys soon!